Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Masterpiece Theater. No, I'm just kidding. Another episode of Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Um, just coming back at you with another video. I didn't get any packages today or any mail, so I'm going to do my uh, top-loaded uh, vintage. I don't have a lot, but it is what it is, so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, starting with 1980 and moving our way backwards, and then I'm going to uh, show you what I got in my one touches as well. Um, so, yeah, let's get right on that. They're all in alphabetical order by year. Starting with Robin Yount, 1980. Got two of them. Three of them. And then Carl Yaskrimsky. Carl Yaskrimsky. And that was not a dollar fifty. That's just the uh, the sleeve that I had on it. And then this one. That one's got a little mark right there. Looks like I think it's a little little couple little holes, like a like a staple or something. And one more. Next up is Dave Winfield. Another one. Then the next one is Alan Trammell. Then I have Willie Stargell, 1980. Long career by then already. Love me some Willie Stargell. <laughs> of all these guys, actually. Ozzie Smith. This is uh, Ozzie Smith's second year, actually. Another Ozzie Smith. Another Ozzie Smith. Tom Seaver. Great pitcher. Tom Seaver is. Another Tom Seaver. Another Tom Seaver. Michael Jack Schmidt. Another Mike Schmidt. The Nolan Ryan J.R. Richard strikeout leader. It's so weird to see him in an Angels uniform since I never watched him. I don't remember seeing him until he was in the Astros. Look at the names on that thing. Nolan Ryan, Ron Guidry, Flanagan, Fergie Jenkins, Eckersley, Denny Martinez, Gaylord Perry, Don Sutton, Burt Blylevin, Phil Necro, Steve Carlton, J.R. Richard. It's a pretty good uh, group, of, group of pitchers right there. It's Nolan Ryan right here. Pete Rose, all-time hits king. I think he definitely should be let in baseball. The Hall of Fame, I mean. Because nothing he did affected his stats. Jim Palmer. Great pitcher. Always had the thickest head of hair. I thought, man, I'd love to have his hair. I always thought that. Even when I was a little kid and I had a full head of hair. I was like, man, he's got some hair. 
I remember he used to do a lot of commercials back in the day. Like shampoo commercials and uh, I want to say paint commercials and socks and like Sears and all kinds of stuff. Another Jim Palmer. Eddie Murray. This is one of my favorite videos to do because I love these. My top loaded vintage. I don't have a lot, but I am proud of what I have. This is a Molitor second year, I believe, or third year. Third year, yeah. Or maybe it was second year. Ah, eh, it's one of those. Another Molitor. I think maybe third. There's Willie McCovey's last card. Of how long his career was. He started way back in 1959. Reggie Jackson. Here's Ken Griffey Sr. Here's Goose, Rich, Rich Gossage before the stash. Carlton Fisk. Another Carlton Fisk when he was with the Red Sox. George Brett. Another George Brett. Third George Brett. Fourth George Brett. Johnny Bench. Some consider the greatest catcher of all time. Others, Mike Piazza, some Yogi Berra. Um, that's a good question. Who do you guys think who's the greatest catcher of all time? I'd have to think about that. I mean, you have Johnny Bench. Now we're into 89 or 79s, guys. I'll touch on the catcher thing at the end. Um, 79s, Dave Winfield. Another Dave Winfield. Lou Whitaker. That's a Lou Whitaker second year. Willie Stargell. Tom Seaver. Another Tom Seaver. Another Tom Seaver. Mike Schmidt. Michael Jack Schmidt. A lot of times when they announce Mike Schmidt, they always say his middle name. When they a lot of the other players they don't. I wonder why. Here's Nolan Ryan. Little little miscut up there, but still it's cool to have. I'll take it. Here's the uh, the runs batted in leaders: Jim Rice, George Foster, I believe George Foster was the only player that to hit 50 home runs in the 70s. And the 80s, too, I believe. Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray's uh, second year. Thurman Munson.
Paul Mahler. That's his, yeah, that is his second year, not his third. Catfish, Jim, Jim Hunter. Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey was pretty good. Carlton Fisk. Andre Dawson. Hawk. That's his uh, third year, I believe. Here is all-time record holders, Ty Cobb and Hornsby. Four twenty four. Can you imagine somebody batting four twenty four nowadays? Crazy. But then again, look at what they had for gloves back then. There's another one I have of those. Johnny Bench, 79. Another Johnny Bench, 79. Now 78s, Robin Yount. That is his uh, fourth year. Carl Yaskrimski. Uh, Lou Whitaker. Um, he actually had, this is from, I forget, somebody told me this is from uh, a special set. This isn't from the regular set. I can't remember what set he said. But the rookie card I'm used to is like the four player one. You guys will see here in a second. This is the one I'm used to seeing. Bruce Suter. Pre-beard Bruce Suter. I think this is his second year. Pops, Willie Stargell. Tom Seaver. Mike Schmidt. You know who Mike Schmidt always reminded me of? Chuck Norris. I get that Chuck Norris vibe from him. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It kind of looks like Chuck Norris. Another Mike Schmidt. No, Nolan Ryan. Love Nolan Ryan, my favorite pitcher of all time. I think he's the best pitcher of all time. Here's a record breaker. Most games, 10 or more strikeouts in a lifetime. So he broke the record in 77, and he was in baseball for, what, 13, 13 more years? That tells you how dominant he is. 10 or more, 104 times. I wonder how many times he ended up total. Pete Rose. Another Pete Rose. Third Pete Rose. Fourth Pete Rose. Love me some Pete Rose. Then a Pete Rose record breaker.
he set the mark with most hits by a switch hitter. This is in bad shape. I got this in a, uh, a collection that had, for in a big box, that had a bunch of Tigers cards and stuff in it for 20 bucks, and it's got like a big crease down the middle of it, but it's still Lance Parrish's rookie. That is not Dale Murphy's rookie, even though it says rookie catchers on it. He has a card from the previous year, so that is not his rookie. There's another Lance Parrish, better, better shape. This is what Kigo sent me. Kigo's cards. Love this. Eddie Murray rookie. Gold Cup. Love that card. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Kigo. Thanks again. I'm going to cherish that card forever. Jack Morris. Tim Jones looks a little odd. I don't know what kind of haircut he's got there, but... Another Jack Morris. Willie McCovey. Steve Garvey. Carlton Fisk. Eck in a Cleveland Indian uniform. So weird to see. That is his, uh, I want to say, third year. Andre Dawson Gold Cup. That's Andre Dawson's second year. Hawk. I need to get me a rookie of his. I don't have one. They're not that expensive. Or they, at least they weren't before all this baseball card craze started happening. Probably find it in a flea market somewhere for like 10 bucks. Gary Carter. Good catcher. Rod Carew. First time we've seen him. Lou Brock. He looks old right there. Look at those bags in there under his eyes. Yeah, he was 39, so it's, I guess that's kind of old, but not really. George Brett. At 39, you're starting to feel your age a little bit. I'd say. At least I did. Another George Brett. Um, these are 77s. Um, I think I'll hold off on the 77s and before, um, for tomorrow. And then my, uh, one touched cards. Um, but, uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. I hope you like the vintage. I love showing the vintage. I'll, I'd love, I'd show them every day you guys wanted if there was a demand for it i would but i know that would get boring so um but yeah um had a good day today um had some turkey loin for dinner um marinated uh really good really really good and Went for a walk up to the gas station. Didn't find any money this time either. Um, it's humid out today, but pretty hot. But when we went, the sun was going down, so it wasn't bad. Um, yeah, I got uh, a George Springer lot coming in. Um, a couple other small purchases, and I did end up buying a... I had I uh, got some stuff through Walmart, and of course I had to get some cards. I I'm a, I got an addiction, guys. I can't help it. Um, but I guess it's better than uh, other addictions I could have, right? 
All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, do what you love, guys, and love what you do. Be nice to each other. Uh, just be careful out there in the world today. Try not to get corona or COVID or whatever you want to call it um, or anything else bad. Uh, try not to have anything else bad happen. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm done rambling. Like I said, I appreciate all you guys. I love y'all. Be safe out there, and thanks for watching my videos. I'm out of here. Bye.